guys, it's Reagan, and today I'm wearing one of my favorite sweaters. It's pizza. No, but today I'm doing a pretty highly requested video, at least I'm pretty sure, and that is going to be the long-awaited, much-loved bookshelf tour. I like to do these um, kind of annually, especially because I move around so much, my bookshelves change so often, so I figured... Why not? So just go ahead and buckle in. I will say my book collection is much smaller than my last bookshelf tour because I've had to put a lot of books in storage because I have less space. So if you're like, where did that book go? Just know I have it. It's just not currently in my apartment. It's at my mom's house. Hey! But anyway, let's just go ahead and jump into the bookshelf tour. I hope you guys enjoy. Be sure to comment down below the book on my shelf I should read the most and also give this video a thumbs up. It would mean a lot to me. Okay, let's get started. So I'm going to start by just doing a broad overview. Obviously this is the bookshelf I film in front of, so probably the one you recognize the most. Obviously I have my floating shelves right there, and then obviously my lighted up bookshelf. So let's just go ahead and go in shelf by shelf. Starting with the first shelf here, we have the Lost Hero, the Son of Neptune, the Mark of Athena, the House of Hades, the Sword of Summer, the Hammer of Thor, and lastly, The Hidden Oracle, all by Mr. Rick Riordan. Moving on to the stack right here, we have The Kiss of Deception, The Heart of Betrayal, and lastly, and lastly, The Beauty of Darkness, all by Mary E. Pearson. Shifting over slightly, we have, of course, very obviously, Vengeance Road by uh, Aaron Bowman. Then we have City of Savages by Lee Kell. And lastly on the shelf, we have More Than This by Patrick Ness. Moving on to one of my favorite shelves, The Book of Lost Things by John Connolly, City of Stairs by Robert Jackson Bennett, I Am the Messenger by Marcus Zusak, Ready Player One by Ernest Cline, The Knife of Never Letting Go by Patrick Ness, The Ask and the Answer by Patrick Ness. Lastly, out of that stack, we have Monsters of Men by Patrick Ness. Moving on, we have The Bronze Horseman, Tatiana and Alexander. And lastly, The Summer Garden, all by Paulina Simons. Next up, we have The Search for Wandla, A Hero for Wandla, and The Battle for Wandla, all by Tony DiTalorizzi. Next, we have The School for Good and Evil by Soman Chanini. The School for Good and Evil, A World Without Princes, also by Soman Chanini. The School for Good and Evil, The Last Ever After, obviously by the same author. We have Furthermore by Tejeda Mafi. And lastly, we have Illuminae and Gemina by Amy C Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. Next up is another really fun shelf. I have lots of little doodaddies from my Harry Potter potion to BB-8 on this shelf. Moving into the books though, the first one is This Savage Song by Victoria Schwab. Then we have The Diviners by Libba Bray. And also Layer of Dreams by Libba Bray. Stack, we have Three Dark Crowns by Kendar Blake, The Book Thief by Marcus Zusak, then we have Ferris, Cinder, Scarlet, Cress, and Winter, all by Marissa Mayer. Next up, we have Keeper of the Lost Cities by Shannon Messenger, and the sequel, Keeper of the Lost Exile, again by the exact same author. Moving on, we. Oh god. Moving on, we have The Dark Days Club by uh, Alison Goodman. And lastly on this shelf, I have Nevernight by Jay Kristoff. Moving on to this shelf here, this is full of a lot of adult literary fiction. Starting with The Muse by Jesse Burton. Then we have A Constellation of Vital Phenomenon by Anthony Mara. All the Birds in the Sky by Charlie Jane Anders. Next we have Dark Matter by Blake Crouch. Burial Rights by Hannah Kent. The Crowns Game by Evelyn Skye. The Nest by Cynthia Deaprick Sweeney. Helm and the Genie by Helen Becker. The Strange and Beautiful Sorrows of Ava Lavender by Leslie Walton. The Miniaturist by Jesse Burton. Life by Hana Yanagahara. And lastly, The Light Between Oceans by M.L. Steedman for that stack. Next we have The Book of Speculation by Erica Swyler. Then we have The Mortifications by Derek Palacio. Then we have The Queen of the Night by Alexander Chi. Next up, I have Night Film by Marisa Pessel. Next is Station Eleven by Emily St. John Mandel. Next is Vicious by V.E. Schwab. Next is uh, Deathless by Catherine M. Valente. And lastly for this shelf is Americana by Shamanda Nogoisi Adichie, um, which is a book I really, really want to read. <laughs> All right, moving on to the second to last shelf on this bookshelf. We still have a whole Another bookshelf to go, but we're 
We're strong, we're moving forward. First we have Hag Seed by Margaret Atwood. It is a Shadow Bright and Burning by Jessica Kluss. Next is The Book of Unknown Americans by Christina Henriquez. Next we have Every Heart a Doorway by Shannon McGuire. Next is A Brief History of Seven Killings by Marlon James. Next up we have A Gathering of Shadows by V.E. Schwab. The shelf, first off we have Nothing to Envy, Ordinary Lives in North Korea by Barbara Demick. Next is Never Let Me Go by Kazuo Ishiguro. Then we have Slade House by David Mitchell. How to Be Both by Ali Smith. Tarnished by Catherine Longshore. A Thousand Pieces of You by Claudia Gray. Between the Spark and the Burn by April Genevieve Tuchok. Between the Devil and the Deep Blue Sea also by April Genevieve Tuchok. Next we have The Narrow Road to the Deep North by Richard Flanagan. And then Rose Under Fire by Elizabeth Ween. Howl's Moving Castle by Diana Wynne Jones. Gardens of the Moon by Steven Erickson. Lastly, The Thousand Names by Django Wexler. All right, moving on to this bottom shelf here. This is just a collection of taller hardcover books, mostly, and um, some history books. <laughs> but let's just jump in. Obviously, right here, you just see some history books, so those are those. First off, we have Clarial by Garth Nix. We have A Man Called Ove by Frederick Backman. Next up is The Water Knife by Paula Bakagalupi. We have Eleanor by Jason Gruley. Wind Up Girl also by Paula Bakagalupi. Then I have Special Topics in Calamity Physics by Marisa Pessel. And I have The Library at Mount Char by Scott Hopkins. I have A Tale for a Time Being by Ruth Ozeki. And I have The Ghost Bride by Yang Zi Sho. I have The Magicians by Lev Grossman. Next I have Ancillary Justice by Anne Leckie. Then I have The Bone Season by Samantha Shannon, as well as The Mime Order also by Samantha Shannon. Next I have Anne Bishop's Vision in Silver. So, um, X, which is the Area X Trilogy by Jeff Vandermeer. Very cool looking book. Moving on to this stack here, first have London Belongs to Me by Jacqueline Middleton. We have The City of Dreaming Books by uh, Walter Morris. We have The Shadow of the Wind by Carlos Ruiz Zafon. Next we have Between Shades of Grey by Ruta Sepetis. Next we have Hotel Valhalla's Guide to Norse Worlds. This is Garth Nix's Sabriel. Next we have We Are All Completely Beside Ourselves by Karen Joy Fowler. Then we have City of Thieves by David Benoff. And lastly for this whole bookshelf we have Solace by Gare Carriger. Next we're going to be doing my two floating bookshelves. I've gotten a lot of questions about where these shelves are from and I got them off of Amazon. They're literally like $12. It's legitimately just an L bracket that you stack your books on top of. To be completely honest, this might be a little difficult to show off these books, but I'm going to do my very best. Alright, so the first shelf is this one here. The first book on this shelf is Everything I Never Told You by Celeste Ng. Then we have Anne of Green Gables by Ellen Montgomery. Montgomery. Oh my god, Montgomery. It's Montgomery. Next we have The Girl Who Fell Beneath Fairyland by Catherine M. Valente. Next up is The Shock of the Fall by Nathan Filer. Then we have The Bees by Laileen Paul, Fates and Furies by Lauren Joff, we have The Goldfish by Donna Tartt. I'm not going to take off this bottom book here because it's pretty securely attached, but it is Alice in Wonderland by Lewis Carroll. Moving on to the secondary shelf here. First have The Girl Who Circumnavigated Fairyland and the Ship of Her Own Making, again also by Catherine M. Valente. Jane Austen's Northanger Abbey, we also have Persuasion by her, Mansfield Park. And lastly, Sense and Sensibility. We have The River of No Return by B. Ridgway. All the Light We Cannot See by Anthony Doerr. Brooded by Naomi Novak. The last book on this here, which is not attached, is The First 15 Lives of Harry August by Claire North. Next up is a bookshelf you guys don't see very often, but I am still a huge fan of. Oh god, ignore that water bottle. But I love this shelf. It houses a lot of my, pretty much all of my fantasy novels. Um, I love this bookshelf. And I'm sad you don't get to see it as much, but now you're seeing it now, so yay! Alright, moving to the first shelf of my second bookshelf. We're starting right here. And we have The Assassin's Blade, Throne of Glass, Crown of Midnight, Heir of Fire, Queen of Shadows, lastly Empire of Storms by Sarah J. Maz. Next we have uh, The Book of Spirit and Thieves, Fallen Kingdoms, Rebel Spring, Gathering Darkness, and Frozen Tides all by Morgan Rhodes. Then we have Finnegan of the Rock, 
Froy of the Exile, and Quintana of Sharon by Melita Marchetta. Lastly, we have Girl of Fire and Thorns, Crown of Embers, The Bitter Kingdom, Lock on Earth, A Stranger by Ray Carson. Moving on down to the next shelf, we have J.K. Rowling's Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them a screenplay. Then we have Harry Potter and the Cursed Child, uh, the play. The Queen's Poisoner by Jeff Wheeler. Next up we have the long line of Cinnamon Williams Chima books starting with The Warrior Heir. Next we have The Wizard's Heir, The Dragon Heir, The Enchanter Heir, Sorcerer Heir, which is the end of her first series I have. Moving on to the next series starting with The Demon King. Next is The Exiled Queen. Moving on to the Grey Wolf Throne, then the Crimson Crown, and lastly, F Flame Caster, all again by Cinda Williams Shima. We have A Court of Thorns and Roses, and A Court of Mist and Fury by Sarah J. Maas, The Raven Boys, The Dream Thieves, Blue Lily Lily Blue, and The Raven King, all by Maggie Stiefvater. Moving on to one of my all time favorite shelves, we first have The Romanoffs by Simon Seabog Montefiore. Then we have Truth Witch by Susan Denard. Six of Crows and Crooked Kingdom by Lee Bardugo. Then we have The Queen of the Tierling and The Invasion of the Tierling by Erica Johansson. Next we have The Black Prism, The Blinding Knife, The Broken Eye, The, the Blood Mirror all by Brent Weeks. Next we have The Winner's Curse. The Winner's Crime. Lastly, The Winner's Kiss by Marie Rutowski. Now to the beloved section. We have, of course, uh, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. And for this set, the last one is Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. Have some UK editions, starting with Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, and Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. Lastly for this shelf, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. I love these covers too. They're so pretty. Moving on to the next shelf here, The Emperor's Blade by Brian Stavely. Way of Kings by Brandon Sanderson. Shiny. Night Angel Complete Trilogy by Brett Weeks. The Name of the Wind. And the Wise Men's Fear by Patrick Rolfus. Dreamer's Pool by Juliet Marillier. Alloy of Law by Brandon Sanderson. Starting with this stack, I have The Slow Regard of Silent Things by Patrick Rolfus. I have The Final Empire. The Hero of Ages. And The Well of Ascension. And also Warbreaker by Brandon Sanderson. Next up, I have Salt to Sea by Ruta Septis. Then I have Lady Midnight by Cassandra Clare. The Nightingale by Kristen Hanna. Next is The Age of Myth by Michael J. Sullivan. Then we have The Bone Clocks by David Mitchell. Then Redeployment by Phil Clay. See for this shelf, I have Ever the Hunted by Aaron Summerill. Next up is kind of what I call my middle grade fantasy shelf, also just kind of the Brandon Mole shelf, but Let's just jump in. First, we have Etiquette and Espionage by Gail Carriger. Have The Martian by Andy Weir. Shadowfell by Juliet Marillier. Curtsies and Conspiracies by Gail Carriger. Flight by Juliet Marillier. Cloud Atlas by David Mitchell. Headmistress of Rosemare by Sarah E. Laud. We have The Snow Child by Eowyn Ivy. We have Fablehaven. Um, the Fablehaven, The Rise of the Morning Star. Fablehaven, The Grip of the Shadow Plague. Lastly, Fablehaven, Keys to the Demon Prison, which is the first Brandon Mole series I have on this shelf. Moving on, I also have Beyonders, A World Without Heroes, Beyonders, Seeds of Rebellion, and Beyonders, Chasing the Prophecy, again, also by Brandon Mole. Next up, I also have Five Kingdoms, Sky Raiders, and then Five Kingdoms, uh, Rogue Knight, my third series by Brandon Mole on this shelf. And then the last two books on the shelf are Flight, book two to the Septimus Heap series, and Magic, which is the first book to the Sept Septimus Heap series by Angie Sage. And this right here is my last little shelf. This is, this is a little bit of books. The other half here is for my school papers and school textbooks and things like that, so not very interesting. But I'm just gonna go ahead and show you the few books I do have on this shelf. The first book I have here is The Walls Around Us by no Nova Rensuma, Crane Wife by Patrick Ness, 
Next is the, the Game of Love and Death by Martha Brackenbrow. Next is Ink and Bone by Rachel Kane. Spiracy of Kings by Megan Whalen Turner. Have a Great and Terrible Beauty, Rebel Angels, and The Sweet Far Thing all by Libba Bray. Next, I have this amazing edition of The Book Thief by Marcus Zusak, where I'm trying to figure out like the best place to put this. So right now, it doesn't really have a place, but soon it'll be in a better place. <laughs> I have The Emperor of Any Place by Tim Wynne Jones. Then I have Into the Wild by John Krakauer. And lastly, I have The Monstromologist by Rick Yancey. Alrighty guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, it was a doozy, but I'm glad you stuck around for the whole time. Anyway, I will see you guys soon with another video soon. Goodbye!